my god this is magical okay so i arrived at joygao this is the border of india and bhutan exactly at this point it's super chaotic this way i'm going for the immigration permit Okay, so I'm waiting at the information center. They said I need to have a guide with me. You cannot explore alone. And this is the picture of the king and queen and their family. Yes, they have monarchy here, but they're happily living under this rule. This is my first solo Bhutan trip, but I have been here before with my family when I was a kid. But that time I was not allowed to go for the Pardo trek. That was pending. That's why I'm again here. You can also come to Pardo directly, but I did not find any direct flight from Coimbatore. That's why right now I'm in Joygao because Bhutan shared its border with West Bengal. So it's pretty easy to come. The journey was really beautiful. Next, I'll take one more cab. I'm waiting for my guide now. Okay, so I reached Bhutan. There's my guide, Vaya PT. Now from here, the plane out there you are seeing is the Indian part. Starting from the, the downhill there, huh. that's the Bhutan part. On the way, there was this part where the visibility was like zero and I was making up stories to my driver like wait, there will be a lady in white dress asking for a lift, don't stop for her. Also on the way, I found this beautiful waterfall. I really wanted to take a shower but this is not the right time. So I arrived at Paro and I found this beautiful farmhouse. My guide helped me a lot to find this place because I was telling that I'm on a budget. I don't want to spend too much or sleeping. And this is really a nice place. Tomorrow I'm going to show you in the daylight. But now I'm really hungry. I'm going to eat my dinner. That is my room. And this is the dining area. This is not for me. <laughs> Can you tell me the name of the food? This one is a chili cheese. Okay. Chili with cheese, then this one is a potato with cheese, then mm -hmm. white rice. And this is omelette? Yeah, omelette. <laughs> Thank you. We use this. Yeah. Okay. This chili with cheese is not my cup of tea. <laughs> Thank God it came complimentary. I did not order it. Hmm. This is good. This is really good. Okay, so I'm ready to start my day. Look at the view. So beautiful. Today, first I'll be going to Thimphu, which is like one hour drive from Paro. I stayed in Paro because yesterday I thought I'll be doing the Paro trek first. But it's pretty sunny, so I thought of going to Thimphu today and Paro Trek I'll be doing tomorrow early morning. So this is the place I'm staying in, Guckling Farmhouse. Their service is very good. Now I just thought of going for a walk before my guide and my driver comes. Look, I found a friend. So cute. Paro is just so beautiful. Even the buildings are like simple beautiful work of art that just blends beautifully with the nature. So we arrived at the Buddha point. So 
so we came out of the temple and inside camera was not allowed but outside I'm going to show you So if you see all the statues around, they are the angels who has different offerings in their hands for the God and they are called Dakinis. Okay, so now we have arrived at the Simply Bhutan Living Museum. So she, she will guide you. Thank you. So with your left hand's ring finger, dip it a little in your wine like this. Take it out and sprinkle and we'll say Je 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 for three times. Je Je Je. Yes, it means habit, habit, habit. So we're offering your local deities and God before having our sex. So now you can have it. How does it taste? So if you like the like and subscribe. No, actually I don't consume alcohol. Just for taste, I have to. Thank you. Oh, it's a real smell. So the bigger one in our middle is the lot of death. So we believe after our death, uh, we uh, like we will have a judgment day in front of them. So white one is the lot of compassion, and the black one is lot of wisdom. So he is our fertility god, and his name is Chichi Dupagini. He uses his colors like a sword to subdue the demons. This is our traditional kitchen. So have you tried butter tea or pitan? So later when we go to our restaurant, then you can try it there. This plate is very famous among couple, uh, embroidered in circle, then it's for men. And if it is plain, then it's for women. If we close it like this, then it becomes a pair. It's just like match made in heaven. So uh, in winter, when we are out of our stuff, then we cook this kind of dried vegetables in heaven. So you can see a lot of chilies here, since uh, the famous dish in Bhutan is chili cheese. Yeah, yesterday I had it. Was it spicy? It was very spicy. This looked cute. But I came to this place where I'll be trying butter tea now. Anywhere I travel, I never do such touristy stuff. But this was actually a very fun experience. His name is Vilma Siri. So at the age of two, he had a brain disease named cerebral palsy. Since then, both of his hands are paralyzed. Now he's 36 years old and only his two fits are working. So whatever he does, like eating, changing his clothes and uh, painting and all, so everything is done by his feet. First, he used to reside in eastern part of Bhutan. But uh, when our queen met him, then uh, she asked him a question. For your living, if you uh, want anything, then you can ask, uh, ask for me, it to me. Then uh, Mr. Pema asked for education. So you can see here the wood carving and painting school. So he uh, graduated from there. So he studied there for six years. And after graduating, his showroom was gifted by our queen to him. So I'm taking one picture umbrella and he's giving his autograph now. Thank you. Thank you. Dichen Pudrang Central Monastic School. So this is our next destination. See Buddha going up there. Central, you can see that temple fortress, temple trashi Shizong. And here you will see our high court and supreme court together. Mm. And top there you can see a Buddha Dodenma statue. Since I reached here, I wanted to get into the river. 
finally got the chance. This is the beautiful Pado River. I returned back to my stay in Pado and on the way I had momos and did some souvenir shopping. Okay, so I'm back to my room and now the most important part, the expenses. After pandemic, they have started a new rule. So if you are from India, Bangladesh and Maldives, you'll have to pay 1200 per day. And if you're from any other country, you'll have to pay 200 USD. That is at this point almost around 16,000 rupees. So in that case for Indians, it's pretty cheap compared to like 16,000 and 1,200. But along with that, you'll have to buy a travel insurance that is worth rupees 500 and guide and a pre-booked car is compulsory. So for your guide, you'll have to pay 2,500 rupees per day. And for your cab, you'll have to pay again 3,500 rupees per day. So that is the situation. It is kind of expensive, but I wanted to have this trip. It was in my bucket list. But I would say if you come in a group, you can save some money. I have come alone, so everything is on me. Six in the morning and today I'm going for my dream trek. That is the Tiger Nest Paro. So this is the starting point of the trek and as you can see it's raining, hopefully we'll be able to finish the trek, I mean I'll have to. I started this morning by falling so I'm just trying to be super careful, especially when it's raining now. This is the road condition, they're coming from the shortcut. You can hardly see anything. Look. Good thing is, it stopped raining. And now, a little bit view we can see. And I was feeling hot, so I removed my jacket. Even he's feeling hot. <laughs> but it is really beautiful, the trek. And also I heard today is an auspicious day. Yeah. It is a birth anniversary of Guru Padma Samba who brought Buddhism in our country in 8th century. Okay, but actually he, we, we don't have an exit date of birth for him huh. because he was miraculously born from a lotus as an 8 year old boy. Yeah. This monastery is his, right? Yeah, monastery is not his. Okay. His monastery that in 8th century he came here and he meditated here in Tatsang Cave. Actually, this cave was sealed, oh. you know? So it will open only once in a year. So today is a day oh, oh. which uh, they are going to you know, open for all the public and the tourists. We will get to go there? Yes. Wow, I'm so excited. Okay, halfway trek done. And that is our final destination. So this, I really don't know the name, exact name of this one, but you will get this only in a high altitude. It signifies, no, the year is becoming thinner and thinner. Seriously looks like straight out of a fantasy land. Look at this baby, so cute. This trek is seriously magical. Like in a minute I can see everything and the next moment it's like all blurred.
so we just came out of the main temple the temple was very powerful one of the best monastery i've ever visited the trek i would say difficulty level is like medium it's not too difficult but the journey is so beautiful like i have done many treks but this is so far the best so from the base we started our journey at 6:40 now it is 10:40 and it's time to return back and this trek is more than 10000 feet above sea level that's why people find it difficult because you'll get breathing problems i'm going to say if you don't come to paro your bhutan visit is incomplete here some bhutanese currency but you can also trade in indian rupees here okay back to my room and i quickly took shower all i want to do now is eat and after that i'll be returning back to india it was little expensive but no regret it was beautiful let me know if you have anything to share if you like this video give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down whatever you like and please do subscribe if you haven't yet you can also follow me on my instagram link is in the description that's it bye started raining again and that's my brunch